Hey guys. Um, I've been in the, as you guys probably know by watching my videos, I've been in the process of putting together my inch bag uh, that I'm also using for camping or bugging out or it's my it's basically my all around bag, okay? Um, and I got it and I made a video on putting the uh, MSS sleep system in it. And that was a whole nother issue. Uh, but anyway, I, in the process, I've had to pare down a lot of my kits for my kit. Okay. Because it all wouldn't fit. I mean, I could pray, I could get it fit, but I couldn't fit anything like food and it weighed a whole lot. So what I've done is, is I've had, I've gone through all those kits that I made videos on and I've pared them down. I've made them smaller. I've taken things out that weren't quite necessary and I have condensed them uh, to make a lighter inch bag for myself and kits, okay? Um, well, let's just face it. I had more high hopes for the size of this bag and the strength of my back than I had reality, okay? It was just too heavy. Um, so anyway, let me put this out. And I don't want to hear about it. Okay. Okay, here's is the kit. This is what I'm going to call my belt pouch. See, it's got the belt sleeve on the back. Um, this, I think, it came from Dodge. Um, I think maybe somebody got it with a vehicle or something, and then they ended up putting it in a yard sale or Goodwill. I don't even remember where I got it, but it was probably either a thrift store or a yard sale, because that's I shop those a lot. Anyway, this thing weighs between two and three pounds. Um, I'm guessing I don't have a scale. But, and, and it's, you know, it's fairly substantial. This is the heaviest kit in my bag. So, but anyway, it's got several compartments on it. Um, and I wanted to go through those and tell you what I've put in it. Uh, it may not stay this way, but probably will. Okay. Because this one here I put in my backpack because I needed to combine several things to make them smaller. So I come up with this. Now on the very back pouch, this part. I have a cotton bandana, okay? I also have this stainless steel shovel, folding shovel. I've had this thing for a very long time. Works really well. Um, I take that out of my tool kit one uh, because my tool kit bag was just heavy. Okay, now I have my multi-tool. And in there was a Leatherman Wave, a sharpening stone, a ferro rod, a couple of strikers, a magnet, and a can opener. Okay. Now, um, I never, I didn't show this on my other one, but on my other side of the ferro rod, there is a very thin strip of leather I could pull out. I figured that might be work as somewhat like a strop, only it's it's only about that long and it's only like a half inch wide. So, but I figured, you know, be better than nothing and I needed to take up a little bit of space because I made that little compartment just a hair too loose. So, but that's that. Put that back together. And it snaps shut. This thing weighs over a pound. Um, those, that, that little, this little Leatherman Wave's got, it's got some weight to it. It's not a lightweight, cheap, cheesy piece of kit. It's not. Now in here, I also have 50 rounds of 22 long rifle. Okay. Uh, I don't usually go into that side of it, uh, but this was all that I had. So I figured I'd put it in my belt kit because if I'm traveling around in an SHTF situation, I need my ammunition with me. So I may end up getting some more ammunition. This may be a hundred rounds. I don't know, it's a lot. I didn't count them. Um, I have a pair of leather work gloves. You know, I'm always a big fan of having some gloves so that your hands don't get damaged. I have my good magnifying glass. I've got matches. I've got a ferro rod with a handle. Okay. It's not, this whole thing isn't a ferro rod. It's just a strip on the top. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know why they didn't make the whole thing of ferro rods, cheap cheesy thing, but this will work for a while and, and I'm gonna use this up until this is all gone and then I'll use the other one. And then on here I've got another can opener, two other can openers and a striker, okay? As well as the little carabiner and two key rings. I have my compass. Now this I can clip to the outside. It's got it's a little, it's kind of handy little, looking little deal. I don't even know what that was originally for. But it's a it's an engineering compass. A lensatic compass is what it is. Um, it works. I've tested it. I've had it for a very long time. I have, of course, a lighter. I also have my char char uh, my charred punky wood and my pine sap. I don't have anything in this little front compartment yet. I figured I'd wait and see if I needed to put something in there that was necessary. Now in this little top kit, or this little top uh, compartment, it's just a very small zippered pouch. I put some smaller things I didn't want to lose. I put an extra magnifying glass. Okay. I put my twig sharpener <laughs> for my shavings, an extra striker, and a ranger band. Now that's what's in my little belt kit. And no, it doesn't have cordage, it doesn't have shelter. It, it, it's basically just just a, like a scout pack. And if I needed a fire, I've got my fire kit right here. This is easy for me to spot so I don't lose my fire kit. So, I'll put that at the bottom. You know, I've got, basically I've got a knife, I've got fire, I've got, um, ammunition. I think I'll put the ammunition in my little front pouch. That'll work. Everything that I think that I need if I'm just walking around without my backpack. Where'd my other glove go? Oh, there it is. Fell down. I'm a big one for, for gloves, guys. At least have two pair in your pack, if not three, for your bug out bag. It's important. Because you don't want to me mess up your hands because that 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 that'll 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 kill you. It really will. Anyway guys, that's my belt pack. Right here. It is rather compact. It's got where I could put a strap on it to make a shoulder strap. Uh, you know, I could I could make a shoulder strap real good and carry it as a as a sling, or um, I could you know there's a lot of different things I could do with this. Uh, you know, I could hang it from a tree with that, uh, just so it's get it gets it up off the ground. I, if I needed to, if I decided that this is what I needed to put as my stashed cachet kit, it'd be easy for me to hang it up get it out of the, so, you know, nothing could carry it off or, or tear it up. Um, this is going to be like a little short and sweet video. So, uh, I did take, uh, which I also have as a belt loop kit and I had a pair of binoculars in here, but the binoculars are kind of heavy. So I took them out of my inch back. Um, the reason being is because I, you know, I'm not good with binoculars anyway. Um, but I needed the, I needed the pouch and in the pouch, I pared down my, my, my sharpening kit. Now my sharpening kit right now cons consists of this little uh, sharpening steels, a, uh, a stone, and a straw. And that's what's in that. And those both can go on your belt. They're both belt kits. So, you know, you can have both of these. Now this one here is liable to, liable to pull down your pants a little bit. Um, which is why the shoulder strap might end up being the way to go because this one weighs a little bit. So well, we'll see when I get when I get my uh, when I get my clothes on and I get ready to hike and stuff like that. I'll be able to see <coughs> what weight my belt can handle. I know my belt can handle it, but um, if I constantly have to hitch up my pants every two seconds, it's not going to work real good. So uh, I may end up putting the shoulder strap on it. I could make one real easily out of that mule tape. 
or I might even have one that's got like a little pad for the shoulder as well. So I got to go look in my in my stuff and see if I actually have a uh, a shoulder strap. When I get rid of stuff that I get rid of, if I give it to Goodwill, a lot of times I'll take something off of it, like the shoulder strap, that I might need for something else and just donate the rest. Um, or I'll take a pouch out of the inside of it that like zips on or velcros on so that I'll have that pouch and then I'll donate the rest or give it away or throw it away depending on what the case may be so uh, little pouches and stuff is my I love to have little pouches of stuff uh, it keeps it organized it keeps it from being just one big jumbled mess down on the bottom of your pack and uh, you know it, you can you, you you'll be able to recognize at a glance okay this is my belt pouch it's got this in it okay okay this is my sharpening kit that's got that in it so, anyway, um, I'll be making a video next on my actual inch bag, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to go over some of the contents that I reduced so you can see what's left. Anyway, if y'all thumbs up, you know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, check out my links down below for an EMP $50 off coupon code, I would appreciate it, and y'all come back and see me.